Good day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. We got a scope on a rope today. Sometimes you're doing some testing on like a car, and that's what this is for. You probably, you're not going to do it on any sensitive electronics or anything. This is just to tell you if you, do you, do you have uh, power, and it's between uh, 6 and 24 volts, so it's, it's for a car. So 6-volt car, 24-volt car. Uh, call cord, circuit tester from Auto Body Now, and you can see there's not much to it. There's the little um, ABN wire piercing circuit, electric wiring diagnostics, made in China, autobodynow.com. But um, basically what you do is you take the pointy bit, jam it in what you want to test, and then take the little clamp part over here, clamp it on uh, negative ground somewhere on the car. And there's a little LED in here. You can see they give you a spare one. That's to tell you that you might pop the LED. Um, I think I had, I had one of these and had like a little light bulb one. And, you know, you, you either drop it, break the bulb or whatever. And this one, the LED, I thought would be kind of a cool idea because it probably lasts a little longer. And you can be a little, a little rougher with this. But I haven't opened this yet. Oh, it's all stapled together. So I'll kind of show you what it does. Like I said, I kind of jokingly, I think other people would jokingly call it a scope on a rope because it's, you know, it's kind of like a very poor man's oscilloscope. But uh, I'll tell you what, let's, let me see. Can I open this? Oh, there we go. That's better. Nice and shiny and new. I like the new stuff. One thing, we'll have to put the spare LED somewhere that we will not lose it. You see what I mean? It's just a little little LED in there instead of a fuse. And that part lights up so you know if you've got uh, power. And it has kind of like the big, uh, let's see, it should be pretty, pretty stiff. And it's very stiff. Let me see if I can poke it through. There we go. There you go. So you clamp it on. There we go. I think it's just the springs tight. Clamp it on the ground part of the car. Take this piece, and I, I thought this would be kind of the best part of it. <clears throat> it's got a, let's see, it's a, ooh, very stabby. It's got a little stabby part. So, you know, clamp it on, poke it into like a fuse or poke it into, I guess you can probably poke a wire or poke something, and what will happen is inside here is a little fuse, and it will light up. But... That's the thought. So I'm going to grab, let's see how many voltage says. I'm going to grab something we can do a little test on it. We'll simulate, simulate a car. And wreck. Okay, so we're going to simulate 6 volt, because that's what I could find. And so, you can do, like I said, uh, 12 volt is probably what you're going to be working on. But, you know, there could be like 5 volts, you know, other voltages in your car. Uh, DC stuff, because you look at the fuses, but mostly it's going to be 12 volt. But you can have a 6-volt car, 24-volt, whatever. But, so, basically, I might be able, should be able to see this. Got on the negative, and then if we put it on the positive, let's see, maybe you should see it. Kind of lights up. Oops, hope you can see it. You know, the, right here by my finger, it lights up. That's what it does. There's no beeping, just a little light to signal that, hey, you got voltage. And this might be a little dimmer than normal because it has, um, these are kind of used old batteries. But that's it. So that's what you do. You kind of clamp this piece onto a ground and then you can go into like a fuse or something on your car and you can test and see if you got voltage from you know whatever distance you're at you're gonna be this is probably maybe six feet or so if you stretch it out so it's kind of kind of stretchy you can see it's new it has not been stretched but it's pretty simple and it's actually really handy um, you can sometimes it's better to uh, not take out your uh, you know eight hundred dollar um, Multimeter, if you just want to do some simple testing, do I have voltages from, you know, the, um, say your fuel pump or some other thing? You, know, you can just be under the car and just do some probing around. And, you know, if you do hit something hot and pop the, few, pop the little bulb in here, you know, not a big deal. You got another one. And I'm going to see if I get some spare ones. I don't know how, I'm curious how long this will last. I know the other one I had was just a, a little. 12 volt bulb in there, a little our little bulb. It lasted quite a long time until it burnt out, but I'm hoping the LED will be a little more cooler. So, 
But that's basically a scope on a rope. So kind of a cool little thing to have. Um, I guess even for like uh, arcade cabinets, if you just want to test, uh, see if you got voltage from one wire to another, you can probe around with this pin. <clears throat> so that's uh, kind of a useful thing, but most likely uh, stuff like that you might use your multimeter. But if you don't have a multimeter and don't want to spend a lot of money, these are like, you know, 10 bucks. So dirt cheap, but you, get a, you can get a dirt cheap multimeter if you're going to do stuff like that. But this I thought would be just good for like in a car because you're going to be beating it around. It's going to get greasy and dirty, and, you know. And that's kind of what this is for. That's uh, its, its main purpose. So that is the ABN coil cord circuit tester for 6 to 24 volts. Cool little thing, look on Amazon. Uh, really neat to have something like this poking around, uh, especially like for uh, most, most people are going to have this for working on cars. So there you go. ABN circuit tester. Have a great day.